Hi Econ students and welcome back to the explainer series on demand and supply. Please note that this is the third video, part three of our explainer series. Part one entailed the explanation of demand, whereas part two entailed the explanation of supply. Please make sure that you watch both part one on demand and part two on supply before watching today's video. Having done both part one and part two, we can proceed to today's topic, equilibrium. Equilibrium can be defined as a condition in the market system where our quantity demand will be equal to our quantity supplied. In other words, equilibrium is the condition in which our demand curve intersects our supply curve, in turn indicating equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Equilibrium. Why is this so important? Firstly, consider our households, the demanders in the economy. Secondly, consider our firms, the producers in the economy. Suppose that the product demanded by our households are milk. How do our firms or our suppliers know how much milk to produce? And how do they determine at which price to sell the milk? in order to make a revenue. In order to answer this question, we will look at equilibrium. Equilibrium will therefore indicate the amount or quantity of milk that suppliers should supply to the market and at which price milk can be charged, a price which is not too high or not too low, but at a price which will satisfy both our consumers and producers. In explaining the equilibrium condition, we will do the following. Firstly, we will illustrate equilibrium by aid of our demand and supply curves. We will then proceed to investigate a market surplus and then a market shortage. In order to illustrate equilibrium in the market, we will start with the following. Price will be on our y-axis and quantity will be on our x-axis. We will have our demand and then our supply curve. Where supply intersects demand, this will be our equilibrium point. At equilibrium, we will obtain our equilibrium price and our equilibrium quantity. Our equilibrium point therefore indicates or illustrates where quantity demand is equal to quantity supplied. However, when a price is charged above or below equilibrium, this will lead to disequilibrium in our market. If a given market is in disequilibrium, this would either give rise to a market shortage or a market surplus. In order to explain excess demand and excess supply as the types of disequilibrium, let's look at a simple example. Suppose that we are in the market for pencils, where our demand and supply curves intersect this indicates our equilibrium point. At PE, QE, our market for pencils is in equilibrium. Suppose that the price for pencils is now increased from PE to P1. Remember, for demand, an increase in price will lead to a decrease in quantity demand. This indicating that with an increase in price, our demand will now be at point A, and quantity D. The law of supply, on the other hand, states that the increase in price will lead to an increase in quantity supplied. Due to this increase in price, our suppliers will now supply at point B with quantity B. The quantity supplied therefore increased from QE to QB, but the quantity demand decreased from QE to QD. Suppliers will now supply more pencils than what is demanded by the market, this indicating a surplus or an excess supply in our market. But what will happen when the price of pencils decreases? Again, where demand intersects supply, this indicates our equilibrium point. Suppose that the price now decreases from P1 to P2, this will lead to our suppliers decreasing the quantity supplied from Q1 to Q2 
as indicated by point B. But the reduction in price will in turn increase the quantity demand by our consumers. At point C, the quantity of pencils demanded increased from Q1 to Q3. Suppliers are, however, only willing to supply the amount of Q2. At any price below equilibrium, our market will be in a shortage. Great work! Let's quickly recap. Firstly, we looked at equilibrium by using our demand and supply curves. For our market to be in equilibrium, this will be where our demand curve intersects our supply curve. If our market condition for equilibrium is not met, this would lead to a market surplus or a market shortage, indicating a disequilibrium. If prices are charged above equilibrium price, this would lead to a market surplus, as opposed to a market shortage, which occurs when prices are charged below equilibrium. Thank you all for watching. This concludes our video for today. Stay tuned for our next videos where we will investigate how factors of demand and supply impacts our equilibrium price and quantity.